Fire season is underway in San Diego and homeowners are struggling to find affordable insurance. That's because insurance companies are dropping policies in areas with high risk of wildfires. Yeah, this has been a problem for many of the county's rural areas, but now it's affecting neighborhoods from Scripps Ranch to Hillcrest. iNews Source has been following this story and editor Mary Plummer is joining us now with some insight on this issue. Thanks so much for joining us, Mary. Good morning. All right, so how many people are we talking about here? How many, how many folks in San Diego are, are facing this issue? Because as we pointed out, it used to be kind of more of a, of a rural thing in our deserts areas, our mountain areas. But boy, Scripps Ranch, that's right along the, uh, the, the 15 corridor. Well, that's what's so fascinating about this data analysis that we did. Our reporter, Camille Von Canel, uh, looked at California Department of Insurance data, and she found that insurers dropped more than 84,000 policies in San Diego County from 2015 to 2019. Uh, now, that's the most recent data available, given what we know about wildfire trends in California. Those numbers are likely even higher. Uh, we spoke with a homeowner for this story. His name is Steve Wallace. He lives lives out in Hamul, uh, these policy drops are a real worry for him because they were hit by a wildfire last year. Uh, here's what he told us. I think we're going to see a lot of people getting dropped on their insurance just due to, you know, what happened last year and what's happened in the past. There's been several fires that have burned through here in the last 20 to 30 years, and we're such a high fire score. I think we're a nine out here, so they don't, they don't want to take that liability, and if they're able to, they're going to drop whoever they can at the first chance they get. Yeah. And uh, is it Mary, what local communities are actually seeing the biggest increase in insurance non-renewals? Well, uh, Hamol out in East County, certainly East County areas are, are getting hit by this. Places like Alpine and Valley Center. Uh, Eric mentioned Script Ranch. Also, Hillcrest and Claremont were seeing, wow. mm. seeing these problems play out. Uh, we spoke uh, with that homeowner in Hamol, who I mentioned, and people all over the county are having this issue. 3.7% of all homeowners policies uh, in 2019 were dropped. So these numbers are, are pretty big here across the county. We're hearing from lots of folks that it's been an issue. Let's get into any protections that uh, these homeowners might have, any laws that, that, that protect against this. And, and if there are, uh, I'm sure there's even issues and some controversy with that as well. Well, you know, it's really interesting. There was a state law that paused insurance non-renewals in areas hit by wildfires, but it offered temporary protections that actually ended this week. Uh, as a result, there are now 16 East County zip codes that no longer have protection because that law has expired. Uh, so if you live out in East County, you should really keep an eye on documentation coming from your insurance company. Uh, insurers will now be allowed to send notices of non-renewals again. Uh, in terms in terms of why it's harder to maintain fire insurance, I can tell you that government officials have blamed insurance companies who are reevaluating risk given all of these massive and major devastating wildfires that we've had in California uh, routinely now these past couple years. You know, you hear about government officials blaming this and that, and but in, in the end, these are the homeowners who are stuck in the middle. Is there anything that homeowners can do to fight back? One really important tip is to act quickly if your fire insurance uh, is dropped. We spoke with awkward experts, I should say, who say that you've got 75 days, uh, according to California law, to terminate your insurance. Uh, let me say that one more time. California law uh, allows for 75 days for you to get your uh, insurance back if this happens. Uh, the California Insurance Department also has an online tool that it can help you with your search. We have all of these resources up on our website, inewsource.org. But the big tip here is really act fast so that you can secure insurance uh, quickly enough if you lose it. Is there some kind of like federal state insurance that can pick up people who don't qualify anymore? Uh, California does have uh, a policy that's kind of a last resort option for right. people. So if you're finding that insurance insurers won't cover you, uh, this is an option for you. If you visit our website, inewsource.org, we've got all of these resources lined out. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of a lot of homeowners in San Diego County are dealing with this. So we hope you are not. But if you are, our website has a lot of resources. Yeah, and those rates can get really expensive. Uh, in the meantime, too. 
good reminder just to clear that defensible space because we are in that that uh, fire season that's for sure mary thanks so much for uh, straightening that out for us and for your um, tips on all of this we appreciate it thank you